Currently, my blood sugar is 118, which means I do not need to take any insulin, do not need to prick myself before I start recording this video. I'm good, I'm ready to start. Well, hello there, and welcome to my channel. My name is Zion Aesthetic, and today I have a really, really exciting video to film with you guys. I basically am really excited for the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I just got it in the mail a little while ago, and one of the reasons that I'm so excited about it is because I am actually a diabetic. I have to take my insulin, I have to check my blood sugar all the time throughout the day, and so I just thought it was really cool to have a palette called the Blood Sugar Palette that literally deals with something that's like a huge part of my life, my diabetes, but also makeup, which is like another huge part of my life. So I felt like this palette really, really was a good sort of fit for me. I knew as soon as I as I heard about the palette in general that I really wanted to pick it up. This is what the palette looks like, just the packaging in general, and then it has these little clasps. It's a really thick palette. It's much thicker than any of the other Jeffree Star palettes. We have all of the shades right here. Honestly, such a beautiful spectrum, like such a beautiful range of shades. I'm really, really excited about this. So I think I'm just gonna hop right into this palette and I'm gonna see what I can work out on this eye, see how the pigment is, see if there's a ton of fallout, all of those basic little review things. First off, I'm gonna sort of like set the eye, kind of get a base going. I am going to reach into Glucose, this shade right here, just this pearly white. Wow, it picks up quite a bit on the brush. Yeah, that definitely does have some pigment for a white. All right, I'm gonna start working into my crease. I'm gonna actually go right into, I'm gonna skip over sugarcane, even though it is a beautiful color, and I'm gonna go right into cake mix, and I'm gonna start working cake mix right into my crease. I'm gonna just kinda use a fluffier brush for that. Ooh, this color is pretty. That white works really well for a base. You can really see this shade showing up on top of it, even though it's pretty similar to like my normal skin tone or like eyelid color. But because I put that white base down underneath, you can really see the pigment. Okay. I am having a little bit of trouble blending out the upper edge of this, but it's really not a big deal. I think next, what should I do next? Wow, Tongue Pop. This shade right here is so cute. I wanna like use that in a cut crease sometime. But I think for now I'm going to hop into Ouch. This shade right here, it's a little bit darker of a brown and I'm gonna also work that into the crease. Maybe take a slightly smaller blending brush and, ooh, that has a lot of pigment on it too. And I'm gonna blend this pretty much where I just blended the other thing, not going up quite as far, and also working a lot of the product into my outer V. I'm really working this into the outer V, putting down a lot of product right there, trying to build up that pigment. Not that it isn't pigmented, just we want it to really, really show who the world is boss, you know? And that shade is pretty similar. It's actually not as dark compared to Cake Mix as I thought. So I'm also gonna real quickly, just very lightly tap into this really dark brown shade over here called Intravenous. And I am going to just place that just a little bit in the outer corner just to really deepen up that area. Okay, so I think I am done, mostly. Laying down all of the browns, all of the base, all of the crease. Getting all that stuff in place. I think next, I think I'm going to take Cherry Soda. This beautiful shade right here. I don't really know how to describe it other than like a cherry shade. It's like a dark sort of pinky red. And I'm going to take that on a pretty, pretty tapered brush and work that right sort of on the very inside of the outer V, like right here 
on the lid. Just sort of have that brown fade into that red as it comes forward. And also blend up into the crease a little bit, but not going too high. The shade is really beautiful and really pigmented. But it is a little bit harder to blend out than the nudes, which makes sense. Reds are kind of hard. Also keep in mind that a lot of reds stain your eyelids, so if you're worried about that, uh, this will probably do that. <laughs> wow. That made my entire eye red really quick. Okay, okay Cherry Soda, I guess we're going with a super red eye look today. It's not in the pamphlet, but enjoy the show. Yeah, so with this one, you want to definitely place it down where you want it and then take a clean brush and buff it out and in because if you try to blend using the brush that you deposited it with, it's just going to go everywhere, which is pretty much what ended up happening to me, but I'm just trying to warn you guys so you know. Okay, so now that I'm done literally covering up all of those crease shades with this red. No, I'm just kidding. It looks very different than it would look if I just put down this red, but it does look pretty red. <laughs> I really want to use this Tongue Pop shade right here. And I think how I'm gonna use it is I'm gonna kind of do a half cut crease like here and then sort of fade that into the red and have like my lid and a little bit of my crease be that really light pink sort of flesh toned color. I'm gonna try not to carve out the eye with concealer. I think I'm just gonna actually go back into glucose on a little precise brush and I'm gonna try to see if I can lighten up that area with glucose enough to then press Tongue Pop onto it. This white, I I'm into it. It's super, super, super powdery, but it's so pigmented. I literally just carved out my crease with it. And I think just because I've put so many layers of powder on, I am gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus before I try to go in with Tongue Pop. I'm going to Fix Plus my little brush and see if I can't get Tongue Pop to really pop on my lid. That was bad, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for that. Okay, that was a bad idea. The second that I put Fix Plus on this powder, it got so patchy, so weird, so gross. Oh my God. Yuck, and also does not blend out. So screw Tongue Pop, <sighs> screw that all day. I'm sure it's great if I hadn't wet my brush, but I did and and, and now I have to live with that. So I think I'm actually going to hop into Sweetener, the shade right next to it. And I'm gonna try that with a wet brush because that is a shimmery shade and not a matte shade. So we may have better luck. I, I hope we will. Um, let me try to clean off this Tongue Pop first though with a makeup wipe. I think we got that to a semi-reasonable place to start fresh. It's definitely a little more patchy than it was prior. I don't know. Yeah, you can definitely kind of see. It's looking a little gross, especially up here. But that's okay, because we are about to put a shimmer shade all over our lid. So I'm going to try this all over again from step one. I'm going to spray my little brush. I'm going to dip right into sweetener right here and we're gonna try packing that on the lid honestly even this one performs better dry like the first couple swipes were not performing very well and then as the the brush sort of dried out and as I started pulling from the dry part of the pan instead of the part that I had just put the wet brush in I am getting a lot more pigment. So yeah, don't use these eyeshadows wet, apparently. 
These are not made to be wet eyeshadows. That is pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm really into this color. This is one of the best lid colors I've seen in a really long time because it's like it's not the standard champagne or that standard gold. It's got a really unique color to it, but it's so beautiful and like complementary, especially to the other shades in this palette, or at least the ones I have on my eye. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Jeffrey, you did that. I thought about doing a wing with this look because I feel like that would be really like snatched and like, oh shit, but I really kind of just like this wash of color and I just got these new lashes that I really am excited to try by Velour. I'm going to just put these on and I think that'll really be enough. They don't flare a ton, but I kind of just really love this wash of like reddish champagne -y gold. I'm so into these lashes. I think that that helped everything quite a bit, but now I am going to quickly do the rest of my face um, so that I can get working on the lower lash line and finish up this eye look. I just added a little bit of that highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes and also on my brow bone just to make my eyes pop a little bit more. And now I'm going to go into the eyeshadow palette again and start working on my lower lash line. First off, I'm going to take a little... I'm going to take the MAC 217, dip right into Cake Mix, and try to buff that out on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to take an even smaller brush, and I'm going to dip back into Cherry Soda. This guy right here. And I'm going to work that onto my lower lash line, just sort of staying on the outer portion of the eye. That looks pretty cute. Now I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs, um, what is this called? The Highliner Gel Eye Crayon. And I am just going to line my waterline with that. I don't think I'm gonna tight line the upper part. You know what I wanna do before we do lips that I think would be really fun? I'm gonna put a little star somewhere on my face because I'm using the Jeffree Star palette. I thought that would be pretty fitting. I just bought this the other day too, and I've used it a couple times and it's real cute. I think I'm gonna stick it right here. There we go. Cute little star going on. And with the lips done, this is the completed look using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I think it came out really great. Whoa, if my camera could stop freaking out. I think it came out great. The, sh the shades are very, very pigmented. The colors are beautiful. Certain shades in here definitely have a little bit more kickback or a little bit more fallout than the others. But in general, I'm really, really, really happy with how all of them performed um, dry. Don't get any of these shades wet, the shimmer shades or the matte shades. I feel like neither of them work nearly as well wet as they did for me dry. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm honestly sold. I'm so happy. My boyfriend, my boyfriend got mad about this palette because he said that Jeffrey was monetizing off of my ailment or my disease, basically, like monetizing off my disease. Um, I can see that, I guess, but I just am really excited to have a palette that I feel like can represent my disease. I don't think that it was done with any malicious intent. It would be kind of cool if he donated some of the profits of this palette to some sort of diabetes organization or really any sort of medical organization. I don't think he is, not that I've heard anyway. But either way, I think this is a really awesome palette. I'm really excited that I have it. I'm really excited to, that it's part of my collection now. I love the shade range. I'm definitely gonna use it again, um, probably a lot, a lot more times. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in this great big world, and I hope to catch you on my next video. Bye.